Hello guys, welcome to my first series course. I will cover CSS for absolute beginners in this course. I will start with a basic CSS theory. And will end up with a completely responsive and professional web page. You will be able to target any HTML element and style that by your own will. Your imagination will be the only limitation then. It will be a series type of course. I will upload a part regularly. So, be sure to subscribe and allow the notification bell as all, so that you can get notified at the next parts. Again telling you, if you are an absolute beginner and didn't touch CSS yet, then continue with me. Also, if you know a little bit of CSS and want to enlarge your knowledge, then you can also continue with me. So, let's jump into the course right now. Let's start with the theory of CSS. Cascading Style Sheets, CSS, is a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of a document written in a markup language such as HTML. CSS is a cornerstone technology of the World Wide Web, alongside HTML and JavaScript. CSS is designed to enable the separation of presentation and content, including layout, colors, and fonts. This separation can improve content accessibility, provide more flexibility and control in the specification of presentation characteristics, enable multiple web pages to share formatting by specifying the relevant CSS in a separate .css file which reduces complexity and repetition in the structural content as well as enabling the .css file to be cached to improve the page load speed between the pages that share the file and its formatting. Let's escape the theory now and jump into the practice of CSS. We can write CSS in three places to design a web page. 1. We can write CSS directly into an HTML tag which is called inline CSS. To write an inline CSS, we have to use an attribute on that specific element called style. We can use this style attribute to any tag of HTML to style that tag directly there. Let's see an example of inline CSS. It is an HTML template with only a paragraph tag in it. Here, we are adding a style attribute to this P tag. Now I am setting the font size of this tag to 30 pixels which is really very large. Now see the change on the browser on the right side. The font size of that paragraph tag is changed. So, we have done it. We have written our first CSS code to style a paragraph tag. The second option for writing CSS code is called internal CSS. We can write our CSS code into the head tag of our HTML template. We have to use a tag called style instead of style attribute now. Let's remove our inline CSS. Now here in the head tag area, we can simply write a tag called style. This has an opening and a closing tag, we can now select our tag which we need to give style. We need to style our p tag. So, write p here and open a block with curly brackets. Now write the CSS code as we wrote it in line CSS. Just write the name of the property, then give a colon and set a value of that property. Be sure to end the line with a semicolon. That's it. Now check on the browser. The style is implemented for the paragraph tag. Now we have done the same thing as before, but in a lot more organized way. The final option for writing CSS code is called external CSS. We can write our CSS code into a separate file with a .css extension to it. We don't have to use any HTML tag or attribute called style now. Let's remove our internal CSS. Now here in the new file with the .css extension, we can simply copy the code that we wrote into the internal CSS. Again, be sure to end the line with a semicolon. Finally, we have to link our external CSS file to our HTML file with a tag called link. We have to provide the address of our CSS file here with the name of the CSS file. That's it. The style is implemented for the paragraph tag. Now we have done the same thing as before, but in a completely separate file which will help us to organize our HTML and CSS code. Now we know how we can write CSS code to give style to HTML elements very easily. So, let's finish this part here and be sure to practice it by yourself because practice always makes a person perfect for any task. I will show you how can we select any type of HTML element in our CSS file in the next part. I will show you both the beginner's way and the advanced way to select any HTML tag into our CSS file. If you learned something new in this video, be sure to like the video and comment below. And if you want to continue with me with the next parts, be sure to subscribe to the channel and allow the bell button to all so that you can get notification about the next part. You can visit my blogs to enhance your web development career. Link in description below. Thanks for watching.